Welcome to Belvoir Street in 2024. Let's begin at the beginning. We are beginning our year like we did last year, working with the City Festival uh, on their Blackout program. We are very pleased to be bringing down from Brisbane the hit of the Brisbane Festival of 2022. The Wiradjuri writer Anita Heiss has adapted into a play her own novel, Titters. We're super pleased to welcome those great black women from Brisbane to Gadigal land for a summer holiday. Our next show stars someone that I think of as a living talisman because you just love being in her presence, uh, the actor Mandy McElhaney, uh, who is playing a woman called Sugar, who actually, in reality, is Cheryl Strayed. When Cheryl Strayed was a young, broke writer, she took on a secret role of writing a weekly advice column, which she later turned into a book, uh, which then was later turned into a play by Nia Vidalis at New York's Public Theatre. It's a big-hearted, great big hug of a work full of wisdom and a little bit of pain. Uh, it's called Tiny Beautiful Things. <laughs> Timothy Conagrave's memoir, Holding a Man, is I think one of the great Australian books and in Tommy Murphy's adaptation, I think it's also one of the great works of Australian theatre of the last 20 years. I reckon we can call it a classic of the Australian stage now and one of the great queer classics of Australian culture. Tommy's adaptation has all of the deep love, great acute insight and of course the necessary pain of Tim's book uh, but it erupts into life with the most gorgeous theatrical play, all of Tommy's great sense of naughtiness. I am very, very pleased to be directing Holding the Man here at Belvoir in 2024. Up next we've got two shows. Uh, each show is very much its own thing, but they're playing on the same set over the same couple of weeks. Anyone who saw Canny and Cracking will remember that extraordinary performance in the second half of the play by Vaishnavi Surya Prakash. Vaishnavi is coming back to Belvoir Street next year to do a very special show. It's the work of a uh, Indian-Australian choreographer and thinker about story called Nitya Nagarajan and her co-creator Liv Satchel, who is a Melbourne-based writer and director. The piece itself is specially made for Vaishnavi and I think that Vaishnavi is probably the only person in the country who could perform this work because it needs both a great, great actor and an extraordinary Bharatanatyam dancer. And the piece is called Nayaka, A Dancing Girl. Sharing the Belvoir stage at the same time uh, is a very special piece of work by an actor that we have great, great love for here at Belvoir Street. Mandela Matia uh, is a force of nature. You might remember Mandela's incredible warmth and, uh, and power in The Cherry Orchard and in Sami in Paradise. And often when we'd be rehearsing in this room, he would tell stories of his own life. Uh, and he's now made those stories into a play. So this is the story of how Mandela began his life in South Sudan, spent his teenage years in Egypt, and then um, achieved his great dream. And the story finishes actually right here at Belvoir Street. The play is called Lose to Win, uh, and it stars Mandela Matia. About a year ago, a group of independent artists put on a play in our downstairs theater. Um, I saw it twice. It's one of the most accomplished, uh, finely crafted, beautifully acted, uh, exquisitely directed and terrifically written pieces of work that I think I've seen in the Downstairs Theatre in uh, two decades. Through these six characters in a single room, the play manages to evoke a whole country and a whole time as it teeters on a precipice. The writer is an Australian, her name is Grace Chapel. Grace is writing about Northern Ireland a generation ago, but she's really writing about, I think, life now for a new generation coming into a time of uncertainty, uh, uh, into a world in which all sorts of different bombs are going off. This is an exquisite work. I'm very pleased that we're bringing it into our upstairs theatre as part of our 2024 season. It's called Never Closer. Um, back in 2019, we premiered a show at Sydney Town Hall as part of Sydney Festival. The work was called Canning Cracking by S. Shakidharan. We had always wanted to bring this show back. Uh, it sold out in its first season. A lot of the Sri Lankan community here in Sydney weren't able to see it. 
We've since been able to take the show to Edinburgh Festival last year, to Birmingham as part of the Commonwealth Games Arts Festival, but it's too big for Belvoir Street, so we haven't been able to find a way to bring it back until now. But I am very pleased to say that uh, we are going to be going to Carriage Works next year to bring Canning Cracking back to Sydney. Our next show is a show that I've wanted to have at Belvoir Street for a very, very long time. There is a book uh, called Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, uh, which was adapted brilliantly by Simon Stevens into a play. And that play does something that Belvoir often does, which is it does a lot with a little. Uh, and the adaptation asks a community of actors uh, to help solve the problem, which is how to stage this play about a community of people who are helping someone to solve a problem uh, about a mystery about a dead dog. It's a glorious piece of work. Um, I think it will thrive at Belvoir Street. We're giving it a brand new production. So it's with great satisfaction that I'm looking forward to seeing this brand new production of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, directed by Hannah Goodwin, next year at Belvoir Street. Our next show is so good that it's managed to coax Ursula Jovic back to Belvoir Street alongside Zara Newman, Eleanor Ruckaboro and Stephanie Kakamo. It's a piece written by an Australian composer and songwriter, uh, Carmel Dean. Uh, Carmel, you'll probably hear a lot more about in the next few years. She wrote a piece which asks what it would sound like if you asked a group of great history-making women like Cleopatra, Kathy Freeman, uh, Virginia Woolf, to sing the story of their lives. Carmel's songs have been wrapped up into a show which is an incredible gift for these four powerhouse performers, uh, who in turn, I think, are an incredible gift to you. The show is called Well Behaved Women. We're ending our 2024 season with one of the flat out great pieces of theatre writing of the 21st century. The play is an American play, uh, like a lot of really great plays, it's about a family, but also like a lot of great, great plays, this family actually stands for a whole country, in this case, America. Uh, it's a story about mm, searching, I think, for love inside a torn, shattered world. Uh, it's a play of incredible theatrical pleasure. It's a play which offers great big company of actors roles to die for. When it is done at Belvoir Street, has to find a new force inside itself in order to come off. Um, uh, it's a play which has brought together, so far, Pamela Rabe, Helen Thompson and Bert Labonte at last coming to Belvoir Street. We're finishing our year next year with uh, Tracy Lett's great American masterpiece, uh, August Osage County. So that's our 2024 season. 10 plays, uh, seven plays from Australia, stories from 18 countries, uh, a bedrock of great tried and tested theatre writing, uh, um, uh, a huge array of extraordinary artists, uh, and as much generosity, love and imagination as we can possibly summon. We're looking forward to seeing you back at Belvoir Street in 2024.